I'm Denson Baker. I'm a director of photography. I shoot mainly uh, drama, feature films and television drama. I am from New Zealand originally. I grew up in Australia. I've uh, travelled with a lot of my work. We're shooting at uh, Ashridge House today. This location is fabulous with its design that it's uh, taken into account available light, where we're looking at working with the, the light that's available within it, but then bringing in our own lighting units and crafting light that, uh, whether it's to look natural and match it or make a, a, its own stylized look. What Roto Light offers is a lot of variety of different ways of creating that color and having that control. And I think that is the key thing to being a cinematographer. I mean, there's a lot of aspects, but one is consistency and control and that's a, uh, a control of an aesthetic across a whole production. We're going to shoot in the chapel that's here, which is a beautiful little chapel, and it's got very large and tall windows, but it has an interesting colour, this uh, green and green-yellow tint to it, um, wooden surfaces and uh, a lot of reflection that is really lovely to work with. It's very moody, and I, I like the fact that we can control the light and get quite an atmospheric, moody look in there. So we're shooting on the Alexa LF. It's a large format camera, so it's a large sensor. We've got the Blackwing Primes on there. I work a lot with filters too. Yeah, I've got my favorites. Today we're working with Tiffin's Half Black Satin, um, although we'll often vary the what degree of black satin, but that is one of my favorite filters to use. So here we are in the chapel. We've just finished our wide shot, which we shot purely with available light, but now we're coming in to do a close up on Olivia. So we can now shape our light a little bit. We can introduce uh, some roto light units and do something that's uh, a little bit more beautified. And yeah, come on through. So we've, this is our key light. We've set up a Titan X2. It's got a DOP choice uh, Opta 5 on the front with uh, magic cloth. And we've put the um, egg crate on the front so that the light doesn't just spray everywhere. And then just to soften it even more to get that nice wrap around Olivia's face, we've used a, a china. Uh, silk, which is very light diffusion, but very beautiful quality of light. Because Olivia turns, we, what uh, starts off as her backlight becomes her key light, and we've set up the Anova Pro 3 with the uh, Smart Soft, and we've dialed it into 100% uh, diffusion, so it's nice and soft, but then we've introduced the 250 half diffusion to soften it even more so it's very very flattering um, very soft uh, light that she turns because we didn't want to be another uh, light source the light is coming from the uh, stained glass windows and this is uh, it's lighting her face but it's not like it's a second sun So we've just shot our wide shot where we see the whole uh, interior location and we've lit uh, Olivia here with a, um, we've gone with a nice big soft source which we've actually used two Roto Light Titan X2s. Um, one is through the Optodome and the other one we've got bouncing off the wall and that wall is giving a nice warmth to it as well. Because we've got daylight in here and I wanted to get a mix of colour temperatures, we've got our quite blue daylight and or skylight that's coming through the, um, the windows at the top. And by putting these uh, lamps at uh, 3200, which is the equivalent of tungsten, it's given it a really warm contrast. We've got a nice mix of uh, tungsten and daylight. 
look to get uh, a nice cool bit of fill on Olivia. We've bounced the uh, Nova Pro 3 and with full diffusion on it so it's nice and soft bounced uh, so it's even softer and we've gone quite blue with that. In fact we went to 10,000 so it's uh, quite a blue bit of highlight and very low level uh, bit of fill. We did balance the camera, I believe I put it at uh, 4300 degrees Kelvin, so that that way it's somewhere in between daylight, which is probably around 6000 degrees. So the, and it's a bit closer to the tungsten, but it means that the tungsten's got a bit of warmth. And when I say tungsten, I mean the tungsten colour on the uh, LED lamps. So we've already done our wide shot, which we're on the 20.7mm uh, lens. Now we're going to come in tighter on Olivia. We, uh, as you saw, we had a nice big soft source, but now that we're coming in closer, we have the opportunity to shape it a bit more and put in some more diffusion. We're going to use some opal, which is one of my favourite diffusions for a close-up. We can walk that right into the edge of the frame, and that softens the light uh, to a degree that you still get nice bit of contrast and you get some shape still a little bit of a shadow but it's just got a really nice soft edge on it with that uh, opal diffusion. Sort of right on the edge of the back box. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you have enough in the eye? Uh, yeah, right there. Lovely. Very nice. How's that? Hey um, Julian, can we try the, um, the Neo Pro 3 as, a, as an island? I like that. And so then we added uh, an eye light with the Neo 3 Pro, which can be handheld and floated in and gives it as a nice little source just to get that little twinkle in the eye, get that little catch light. Yeah, so with the setups that we're doing here, I wanted it to be something which uh, is um, inspired by the architecture within the location. But, uh, and, and I do, I feel like my compositions are often led by architecture, looking at, at horizontal lines and windows and leading lines, uh, but then obviously putting our cast into those frames and into the environment and finding interesting compositions that, uh, that work within this location. Individually, the uh, the two titans one at a time. Yep, so that one over there. It's that yep. one. So that's Liv's light. And then we'll turn the other one on. That's Bridie. And that's the other one. Cool. Cool. And uh, let's uh, turn on the firelight effect, please. There we go, one at a time. So the firelight effect we're using is my preset that I've programmed in there. I believe we've got them set to um, Flickr 2 with um, a candlelight with 28% um, uh, level. And we've, I picked that by eye with this particular shot, just sort of what balanced nicely with the, with the environment. We're gonna go out to the forest as well, which is really interesting and we can do something quite moody out there and we'll be working with the, the daylight so that we're gonna put the Innova Pro 3 to the test where we can balance it to a similar colour of what's out there and find a level that works nicely with what's already outside in the um, exterior light and create a, a stylized look. I'm really excited about the Innova Pro 3. It's versatility, it's the amount of control that uh, you can have with it, the, the fact that it's, uh, you know, it's weatherproof and battery powered. It, it opens itself up to a lot of opportunities and I, I think a lot of my contemporaries are going to find it exciting too.
So for our exterior setup, we were working with a very soft key light, which we were putting through a 4x4 diffusion frame. The larger the diffusion, the softer the wrap. We put the Innova Pro 3 in the background because it's the punchier of our lights to get a little lens flare, a light that looks like a uh, setting sun through the black smoke. We used uh, black smoke flares, which are very handy. They don't last for very long, but they have a beautiful effect. You get a nice, without needing to run a full hazer or smoke machine, you can get, uh, you get about two minutes of really nice black smoke floating through. And we were shooting off speed, 50 frames, so it's a little bit dreamy, and uh, handheld at a nice floaty, dreamy quality to it as well. It was a perfect test for the uh, IP65, the fact that it's raining, that uh, it's still running perfectly obviously and uh, able to shoot uh, in, this, in these weather conditions. Well, I hope you enjoyed what we shot today. Uh, we got to play with a range of different roto lights. We've got to use pretty much the entire range of current uh, roto light units. Uh, if you want to see some more information or find some more inspiration, go to rotolight.com and uh, check it out.